Hi, I'm Reef McIntosh. Oh, fuck, I just feel stiff when I do it like that. Hi, I'm Reef McIntosh, and these are my bet online picks for the Billabong Pipe Pro. Okay, I'm not very good at this stuff, but for the Vans Pipe Masters, I actually picked the winner, Ball Around Stack, number one pick. I don't know, I might be getting good at this thing. That event was very unique compared to this next event, so it was more freestyle of surfing. I wish I would have bet on ball, but I didn't make any bets, but I'm making some bets this time. This event is you gotta make heats. So my picks are gonna be kinda going off of guys that are good at selecting two good waves at pipe to advance to the next round. Okay, my men's pick from three to one. What about the dark horse? Okay, my men's picks for this year's, do I have to save, do I have to plug the whole billabong thing? We're going Gabe Medina number three, Jack Rabo number two, and John John number one. Like I was saying, making heats is a big factor in this event. And my number three pick, Gabriel Medina, last time he was in the event, he was runner up to John. I think the year before he won. So, I mean, obviously he knows how to make heat. So, Jack Rabo. The reason I put Jack ahead of Gabe is he's like has guru status, you know? He's reaching that level. And I mean, Medina surfs good everywhere, but he doesn't put as much time in as Jack does. And his performance last year was pretty spectacular. And then he went on to have an amazing year of winning multiple events on tour. So I have a good feeling he's gonna start this year off really, 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 really well at a wave that he knows really well. And then I'm going John just cause he's John. And I mean, I don't even know how old John is, but he's been out there for like his whole life. I feel like he was born out there. <laughs> he's really good out there and he's really good at making heats out there. So good, bad, small, firing. So let's hope it's firing. Dark Horse with Ramsey Bukayam. Injury update, my dark horse, Ramsey. Oh, I heard he hurt his ankle pretty bad, and I'm gonna have to change my pick. I'm gonna go Seth Moniz for my dark horse for the men's. So these are my women's picks. I'm trying to figure out who I had as number three. Oh no, I remember now, okay, ready, okay, ready. Number three, um, Tyler Wright. Number two, Carissa Moore. And number one, Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. My number three pick, Tyler Wright. I mean, last year on the final day for the women, it was really big and she got that crazy backdoor wave and her skill set suits Pipeline pretty well. And then Carissa, over the last, say, five years, she's put Pipeline on her radar to not be a standout, but be out there, you know, trying to get better at surfing waves of consequence. And I see her out there a lot. He got five-time world champ, he got the gold medal, but it'd be pretty sweet to have a pipeline trophy in your closet with all your other trophies, so she's pretty fired up. And then Betty Lou. For the women's, I'm taking Betty Lou out. Sorry, Betty. Sorry. But um, Moana, you're my number one pick. Wild card, defending champ, it's on. Courtney Conlog is my dark horse pick. I think winning Chopu is a big confidence booster for her. And I kind of was working with her last year. I'm expecting big things this year from her. Yeah. Oh, fucking chicken is freaking me out. Is it dying or is it sleeping? It's looking at me now. Okay, let's focus. What was it? We do it again?